Willy Grills Survival Expert. Good afternoon guys, today we are exploring the Great Australian Forest. Um, to start off with, I always recommend bringing a um, stick with you to feel your way around if you're blind. Okay. So the, um, the uh, Australian Great Jungle is a big jungle, so you can expect paedophiles, bears, Drunk, um, lots of uh, things, like including babies that people have left. So the trick to the paedophile is you don't just leave them alone. You've got to bribe them with things. So if you find something that is very legendary, you can give it to them uh, for bribery, basically. So, um, for example, I know that there is a paedophile nest in that direction, okay? So, what you can do is um, just bribe them with stuff and they will leave you alone, okay? Okay, so I am going to be climbing the Great Mountains, okay? So, this is the biggest mountain in the world, so... I'm going to have to speed this bit up. So, uh, hello, it is now 2019. Okay, so it took me two years to climb the Great Mountain. Okay, so the, one of the first things you're going to want to do is find the shelter. Because if you've been climbing for two years, you're going to be uh, uh, quite um, tired. Uh, so, you, you come over to here. Okay, so the next bit is gathering your resources. So, we're going to snap this off and then we can put it against a tree stump to create a home, okay? So, I'm going to skip this bit out and I'm going to create a home quickly. So, as you can see, this is my base and it is a, a long time to make. It is a long time to make, but it is very good um, to build for your safety. Uh, you know, blue hula hoops are scary around these parts. Um, so, you've got to be careful with that very well made base. So, I'm going to see you tomorrow morning where we are going to be catching the beast. So, it's 3 a.m. in the morning, and um, I'm hungry. So, tomorrow morning, we will catch the big monster to eat, okay? So, now, I'll see you in the morning, and it is quite cold out here. So, uh, stay tuned. It is 6 a.m. in the morning. I only had three hours sleep. As you can tell, I'm tired and I'm afraid we're going to have to knock down our very good base. Okay. So, when catching this big beast, um, I've just seen the beast. It is over there. Get close. Get close. It's over there. 
We need to destroy it somehow. Let's go. Ooh wee! That was a close one. We need to create weapons to defeat the big beast. Come here. So this is a stick. You snap this stick in half to make the point for the arrow. But um, if you bring the uh, the flint and steel. Um, you can create arrowhead. So, one sec, I just need to create this arrowhead. So, I think it's fair to say that our arrowhead is finally done. So, the next part is um, actually we need to get the stick that you got earlier and get your strength that we need to tie it onto. If you do not have string, you can use the cheap alternative of stick. Stick. So, I have created uh, the arrow now. Um, so, if you want to learn how to make a knot like this, you can go on to the Bear Grylls channel page. It is a different channel and some random guy, but he teach me lots of good stuff for survival. Okay, we are nearing the beast. We need to be silent. So, if you do not have bow arm, this is called the bow arm, where you throw the arrow. You can make a bow and arrow. Just use your use your common sense. Okay. Go on. There's the beast. Right there. Here is close up protection. I need to be precious in the gun. Okay, let's go. Join me next time when I teach you how to fend off the bleeder off.